Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Ninja XTX, and welcome to uh, video number 62 in my new round of philosophy videos. This video is also part nine in my series on dealing uh, dealing with the disabled. Um. For the next two weeks, we're going to have um, videos that are on sort of a taboo subject, and that is dating in the disabled. Ladies and gentlemen that are able-bodied, yes, we do date. Um... Why, why do I think this is an important subject? It's because some of you that are able-bodied seem to think if a person is quote-unquote disabled that we're looking for someone to take care of us. No, not really. I could go into detail on what I want in a um, significant other, but this is not a video dating service, so I won't do that. But I will say to those of you that might be considering dating someone that is uh, disabled or differently abled don't constantly dwell on the fact that we're disabled we are equal to you we want the same things that you want out of a relationship we need the same things that you need out of a relationship Talk to us just as if we're, quote unquote, normal, because we are normal. The only difference is that some of us might be in a wheelchair. Some of us uh, may be blind. It doesn't really matter because we're just human beings like you. So we expect to be treated as such. Yes, some of us are jerks, but then able-bodied people can be jerks too. We have we have strived half our lives, or in some cases, all our lives, to be treated like normal, quote unquote, normal people. We are normal people. We, as I said, expect the same things out of a relationship. Um, we just need a little help with daily life. Now, does that mean that we're going to ask you to help us? Not necessarily, but if you feel as if you want to help us, that will deepen the relationship. Um, for those of you that don't know, and this is the last time I'm going to bring this up, I was in a relationship uh, two years ago, and it was going really well up until the point that my uh, now ex-girlfriend realized, oh, wait, you really do have a disability. Yeah, what'd you think? I was just in this wheelchair for kicks? No. 
when it got down to the point where she had to actually uh, uh, help do something, instead of wanting to learn, she ran from it. And I'm not faulting over that because a lot of times when an able-bodied person does date someone that is quote-unquote disabled, they realize that they're not ready for it. Do I wish she had a told me sooner? Yes. Um... But I'm not going to dwell on that. B, and this goes for my uh, different like, brothers and sisters as well. Be upfront from the get go in the relationship. Put it all on the table. And if you can't handle it, tell your significant other you can't handle it. Before you get too heavy into it. Um, now I'm still looking for that special someone. Um, I'm not going to say they're going to come tomorrow. Oh, when it, whenever they come, I, w I will be ready. Because I learned from that relationship. If I can call it that. Because I found out some other things about her that. That weren't too uh, keen, but that's not a here nor there. That is another subject. But what I'm saying to you guys is don't be afraid to put everything out on the table. Because once you put all your cards out on the table, there's nothing to lose. Once you Show this person, yes, I do love you. And yeah, it may take you a long time to prove to the quote-unquote disabled person that you love them because we've been through so much. Um, but don't give up because love does happen. I believe in it. My uh, friends believe in it, and in fact, I I'm a lovesick. I'm a hopeless romantic. I'm not gonna say lovesick romantic because that doesn't exactly sound right, does it? Forgive me for my tongue tongue tied moment, but I am a hopeless romantic. I will. And I still believe in love. I, no matter what I've been through, I still believe in love. And a lot of different able individuals still do. They've just been burned a lot. So, in that, I will say this. Be of one mind when you are making that commitment and know what you're getting into before you get into it. I hope that made sense. I hope that spoke to someone on someone's heart. Um I hope that maybe lifted someone's spirits or taught someone something. Um please take care of yourselves and each other. One world, one love. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please send them to my YouTube account. Or if you know how to get in touch with me on Facebook, please send them to my Facebook account. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.